don't suspend compulsory use of national identification number for UTMA. Nigerians don't receive same stock to watch over families of fallen heroes. And transmission companies of Nigeria won't push for recapitalization of these codes. And we don't kill over 100 bandits for inside Zamfara and Katsina State. Good afternoon and welcome to Wazubia Max TV. This na as it take happen. My name na Adati Omukwe. On top the first gist where we carry come, we as a joint admission and matriculation board don't suspend the by force use of national identification number for the people where BC1 writes 2020 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Exam till 2021. Jam registrar, that's now Professor Isha Kuloede. Now, he and this one now, as him, they talk with Tori people for inside Abuja. He comes in and say, say they want to make the candidates get enough time to get their national identification number. Now, he make them take this decision. And this is their decision now to suspend the process. They come after plenty of country people don't talk about how hard it day for them to get their NIN. Plus, including the short time where BC them give. Professor Loye de Konde here now has him been the talk. He talks say NIMSI get uh, go get registration centers around computer based test centers for the country for candidates where B say they no get the name. So that it go day easy for them now to register and to write the exam. Registration for the 2020 JAM UTM is supposed to start today. And the Professor Loye de Kon talk say the candidates fee apply with or without the name. Our Wazobia Max TV to repair in Solomon and Dahi Day for Street to find out what in Nigerians they yearn about the suspension. Maybe join them. Okay, bless say we go come back to come talk to them about that one. But make we sharply enter inside the next story where we carry come. For the next one, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, that's Nabot Mustafa, he talks in now, now the responsibility of all Nigerians to watch over the families of fallen heroes where they as and they protect the nation. The SGF now began this one for Inside Weekend during the West African Social Activities where BC Nigerian Army Guards Brigade organized to mark the end of the year. As seen they sympathize with the families of the fallen heroes, in contact say now the responsibility of Nigerians to honor them, sake of the sacrifices we then don't make. We share in their pains, we share in their moments of grief, but with an expected hope that uh, things would get better for them. And it is the responsibility of all Nigerians to watch over these families because they are men and they are women or they are breadwinners fell in the line of duty to secure our country, to secure other parts of the world. So we owe them a responsibility to honor them on the Remembrance Day and all the, through the period of the exercises that have taken place in the last two months. And still on top of the Tory, in consider held the Guards Brigade now for the work where we say them do to make sure safe federal capital territory they safe for 2019 and saying they expect more for inside this year. The commander for Guards Brigade, that's now Brigadier General Mohammed Takuti Usman, explained the importance now of WASA in contact say them don't achieve training objectives of the brigade for the year 2019. West African Social Activities is an age-long military tradition aimed at creating a conducive atmosphere for realization for officers, soldiers, and their families to socialize with their civilian friends at the end of a training year. The colonial authorities then incorporated this tradition to the armies and named it West African Social Activity popularly known as WASA. In this note, I wish to state with all sense of humility that we have been able to achieve the brigade training objective for the year 2019, training year, which is to improve professionalism and sustain regimentation. They answer say the activities where BC line up for WASA, now cultural display from different ethnic groups, display of strength, thug of war competition between four battalions under the brigade and other things we will still follow. Make we sharply go back to talk with our Tory person Solomon and Dahi on top with in Nigerians they yarn about as they suspend the national identification number for people we want to write U2ME. 
Okay, Solomon, good afternoon. You go just. Uh, Ada, good afternoon. Mm -hmm. You go How just. You Ada, good afternoon. How you doing? I waiting to happen. I did okay. fine. Ada, I should. Uh, okay, Ada, I should. Okay, I should already talk him earlier on now. Ah, uh, the jam don't already come and say they go stop the use. They go suspend the use of NIN number uh, for this particular exam where they want to do. Now I don't carry worker confederate secretariat where I deal with some people here. We want to share their own views. Then so they want to tell us how they take feel about that plan to take remove that number for the meantime. Now before make we join one of our guy here. What is your name, sir? My name now come Isa Abubakar. Okay. Now come here as they look at the TV as they answer and Nigerian people get here. Now you are somebody way here of this matter, so they want to suspend this usage of this NIN number. What do you feel about them? You want to jam, don't come and talk to they will suspend the use of this number. I feel concerned about it. Number one, jump no tell us what they want to achieve when they want to use uh, uh, that number. Number two, now they say they know how to do them again, no suspect, they no tell us. Now so we go to jump up and down. If you make policy, you suppose get an objective, what you want to achieve. If them telling us that that good way they want you that number do before, is it not achievable? We know all over the world the usage of technology now something very, very, very good. Mm. But now, most of the, if you look at the concern where people have been raised before the cost of spending finally, what it make, according to themselves, now said they never fully prepared to tell the user, and say maybe from next year they go user. But now, the question why would they ask now? And we want to make people like you, where you Nigerian people, make to tell us what thing you feel to make them not come prepare. I mean, when they talk about that first time, they be no no saying that something where they feel do. What thing you feel say happen? You know, go pass a bureaucratic uh, bottleneck. Mm -hmm. First, you go work off on wrong side of the of the bed. You know, do better. You look better arrangement. You say, see where we can go. You good. Make the force sit down. Look this thing very well. See, timing. Even though okay, I see many uh, prospective students. Where they go everywhere to do a registration, how many of them will even feel registered before that time for the uh, number? Okay. So now some of the two way jams will sit down before, before, look at very well, and roll out their policy. Okay, thank you, comrade. So, Adas, you don't hear him, and as Nigerian people don't hear him now, as our comrade don't follow us here, you don't explain to us, say him, Bella no speaker, because in the first place, if they talk, say they go do something like this, no, they stick to their word. No, they say they go say they go do, they go chain man, do chain man. Say, as that one day now, you they make look like, say, we for Nigeria, we're not serious. And say, for anywhere in the world that they use all this kind of technology, like this NIN, maybe the national identification number, to do this kind of thing. So, if we go get them right, like the they around the world, they get them, we ma, we guys, they use this kind of technology. So, say, now waiting good, according by waiting in the yard, and waiting other people who are done here with. Don't tell me for this today. All right, thank you very much, Solomon Ndahi. That's now our person, Solomon, with the report. Come give us for Inside Abuja here. Make we shall enter for Inside the next story. We are still ahead of the UK African Investment Summit where BCA will take place for Inside London on 20th of January 2020. One conference now they hold for Inside Lagos today. And we hear say businesses, plus including government and international institutions, go show face for the summit to showcase and promote the quality of investment opportunities for Africa. We see here say 21 African countries, plus including Nigeria, nine the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom invite, and President Muhammad Dubari go see show face for inside that place. Make we yarn with our Tory person so that we go fit, get more gist on top of that one. But we go go back to her later. And for inside the next story, human rights lawyer Femi Falana talks say the one where we say President Muhammadu Buhari family members now they carry presidential aeroplane take the waka say that one in no day for inside law at all at all. The senior advocate of Nigeria Yan for inside talk paper on Sunday they tell President Buhari to stop the family members now make them know they use presidential aeroplane take the travel for their private and social function. In second day, Yan now contacts from when this government been enter office. Say President Buhari been promised say him go reduce the money where be said then they use take maintain presidential aeroplane. Plane, where we say it be 8.5 billion naira, where they for inside the 2020 budget. And for inside another Tory, troops of Operation Hadarin Daji, they talk say they don't kill over 100 bandits, plus including say them recover different dangerous weapons and say them still rescue 10 people where the bandits them been kidnapped. As they attack the different places now where we say them hide for inside four local government areas of Zamfara and Katsina State. 
Photog paper with the acting force information officer of the operation, that's now Captain Ayo Ayobami Oni Orishan Binkari Kom. Him say them carry out this operation now for inside Anka, Maru, and inside Bukuyum for Zamfara, while them do other operations for inside Jubia for Wede Castina State. Take of the recent badness activities now where be say the bandits them they do for the two states. Him say during the clearance operation, say the troops now do collab with the defense force of Niger Republic and them catch one badness guy where he named Nakunene, where be say now they supply dangerous weapons give the region. And for inside another Tori where she resembles that one, we see here say bandits now for inside Casina don't release the two custom officers where BC them kidnap on Wednesday. Now the top person of the 17th Brigade of Nigerian Army, Captain Kayode Owolabi, Nainyan this one. Him say the bandits then release them on Sunday morning for headquarters of 17th Brigade of Army Mil Nigerian Military. According to Captain Owolabi, this one happened as the troop of the Operation Hadarindaji in partnership with 8th Division of Nigerian Army, they do serious operation. Oga Olabi talk say the operation been start some days ago, sake of the attack where BC them do for the areas where the bandits they hide. All these efforts, according to him, don't force many of the bandits them to come out when they beg for peace. And for inside another Tory, now the beginning of another week for everybody to return to their duty posts where they do their work. And for inside Lagos, now traffic don't start again as workers, plus including students, don't resume after the break. We go join our Tory person Mori Nogolo and he go join us live from one busy part of Lagos. Make we for here waiting they happen and how with the traffic situation for that area for inside Lagos. Hi Mori, hey. good afternoon. Okay. Hello, mm. Make you and give us the particular busy area where you did for Lagos and how traffic situation since where this everybody don't come back after the break. Maureen for that report all the way from Lagos. My people will they come back with business and sports story. No go anywhere. <laughs> For inside business, Transmission Company of Nigeria don't swear say then go push now for this course recapitalization this year for the power industry of Nigeria so that it go work. As in the yarn on top some of the company targets for 2020 for the latest power wheel interview of the TCM for inside Abuja on Sunday. The managing director of the company, that's now Osman Mohammed, he insists say the discourse now currently no fit distribute power well. In contact, say the TCN no go wait for this course, but say then go continue to expand the grid as in they push now to rearrange the distribution companies. Ogam Mohamed talks that say the government now no fit to continue to put money for the power sector. Say can say they don't already privatize key arms of the industry. 
and we still they come back with sports story. Still they where you day. For inside sports, Nigerian champions uh, Ayimba, they don't start to win again. As he beat Senna, they beat Parado AC of Algeria 4-1 for CAF Confederation Cup match for Abba Stadium on Sunday. Ayimba been lose 1-0 to Parado for the match where BC then been played with uh, Algeria for December 29th. This match now where BC then win now go come take Ayimba go second for Group D with six points from four matches and they go face Rusa FC of Morocco on January 26 for ABA for their next CAF Confederation Cup game. Now all the story where we carry come for you this afternoon. But before we go, make we still look at our top to read them again for this afternoon. Jam don't suspend compulsory use of national identification number for UTME. And Nigerians now don't receive same stock to watch over families of fallen heroes. Transmission Company of Nigeria won push for recapitalization of this course. Army don't kill over 100 bandits for Zamfara and Castina State. Now all the story be this as it take happen and still now on top was over Max TV 90 days. My name now Adati. Good afternoon. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.